Hello everybody, this is me, Mark. I want to do a video vlog. I'm out and about right now, I'm going to the record store. Hope I can make it in time. And I have to put on uh, voiceover for that. I have to do the copyright nonsense. Since I'm out and about. I'm out taking the cat back from the gym and all that. I'm going to see the record store. I love seeing vinyls. Some old school, you know. Sometimes CDs and such, you know. I am buying my um, music digitally, though, with 7 digital and all that. And I guess I want to say what's on my mind right now. And that is, well, um, I guess of growing up or aging and so forth, you know. Like, especially just turning 35, I never figured I'd actually live to see 35, you know. Due to my health conditions and such like that. And it kind of like afflicts me. I remember I have a fellow conversation with a person that, you know, about like in the music business talking about they would never sell out and all that. And at the time, I would be up, like, say, in my teens and 20s and all that, I was very, very radical, you know. But as I started, I guess you started starting to get more aged, more mature and all that. I guess you could call that conservatism or something. You know, the reason I say this too, because I, I, I guess that, you know, in that kind of state of mind, especially when I was a lot younger and all that, I, I was reckless. <laughs> Just being real though, but on the contrary though, I'm surprised I lived this long, you know. I guess what I'm trying to say is too, it's like, I don't knock people for selling out, bro, you know? To be real with y'all. There's times it's hard, you know? If you got, if you can work, you can work. If you can, then understand, you know? Ain't no judgment on my part. What I'm trying to say is, sometimes I even think to myself, is it worth selling out sometimes, you know? I guess. For better options, opportunities, and so forth, you know. And you know, I've been working for a whole year or so. I ain't been every part downtown like this in a long time and all that, you know. And it feels good to get this side of me again, you know. So I asked myself, I would guess you say. 10 to 15 years ago, I probably said, oh, no, no, I wouldn't sell out. Now I'm in my mid-30s, essentially. What other options do I really got out here, you know? As I'm preparing to get my game set up and all that, my studio coming up, order some pieces and parts. Sun just dawned on me, though. I guess the reason I feel like that at times is feel like Especially I live in an area of limited options, opportunities, and such like this. So I always have to think outside the box or so. And the reason I say that topic is the worst selling out. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I guess what it's like to feel belong, feel a part of something, you know, or be a part of something. I've been doing mostly solo things for most of my entire life, you know. And I kind of realized I kind of need people to help me out with a lot of things. Something I might not understand. Uh, some things. And I, you know, I've been trying for the last almost, wow, now looking back at like 10, 7 years, I've been trying to be sociable. It's just like, let's be real too, that a lot of Americans are very antisocial, you know, just being real. Despite living here, you know. A lot of Americans are not very sociable. They're not approachable. And, and I say this many times in True Force Lonely videos. Don't try to approach. Oh, hell no. Don't try to approach no woman. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm in a serious relationship with my lady. You know, they, I don't really miss a lot of these bras out here anyway. They just either number drama, lies, or trying to set people up and all that. You gotta be careful. I, I got set up a few times. I'm set up a few times myself with dirty bras. I said I weren't honest and all that. 
I'm just saying for what it is. Anyways, I'm out.